Planning this year's conference was both an honor and a challenge. I owe ATA an enormous debt of gratitude for helping sort of guide my way as what is possible uh, for a translator, what kind of skills I need, um, how to connect with clients more than anything. So do you want to do a quick card exchange? It's really brought out new skills in me that I hadn't really thought of before. It's easy to find other people who do what you do, but it's not always easy to find serious professionals, and I think ATA is really the home for that. The information sharing is a huge bonus that we all give each other. It's a great way to network with um, my peers, make some friends, find out about what's going on in our industry, learn new things. ATA has been a very important part of my career as an interpreter. I have been able to obtain some work uh, from corporations and in some other cases from individuals who are looking for uh, certified interpreters or translators. We do actually a lot of work in Chicago. You actually get clients, if you're an ATA member, people, people will write you and say, I found your name off the ATA website. Uh, it's casual emails and sometimes that actually works into a good working relationship. It's connected me to some new clients, it's connected me to um, peers and people I can work with or ask questions with. That's the best thing about the ATA, the members. It's a, there, are, there are many great things but the members are the best thing about the ATA and um, the interactions and the networking that you get to do at the ATA conferences.